Today, we are here to talk about the latest news on La Nina. For those who don't know, La Nina has been a weather phenomenon impacting global agriculture for the past few years. This year, it's expected to have an even bigger impact. So, what does that mean about the food prices we'll be seeing this year? Stick around to find out. First up, La Nina is a weather phenomenon that has a significant impact on global agriculture. La Nina is a weather phenomenon that significantly impacts global agriculture. It is associated with below average sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern tropical Pacific Oceans. La Nina conditions typically occur every three to five years and can last up to two years. The last La Nina event occurred from 2016 to 2017 and was among the strongest on record. It caused widespread drought and crop failures worldwide, leading to higher food prices. This year, La Nina is forecast to return and potentially last through the end of 2022. This can have major implications for global agriculture, as many farmers are still recovering from the the previous event. Drought conditions are again expected to be a major problem, particularly in Australia, Indonesia, and South America. This could lead to another year of higher food prices and potentially severe food shortages in some areas. Governments and relief organizations are already preparing for the potential impacts of La Nina. However, it is still unclear what the exact consequences will be. The return of this phenomenon underscores the need for greater investment in drought-resistant crops and irrigation systems worldwide. Let's discuss the phenomenon that is expected to continue for the next few months. La Nina is a weather pattern that results in cooler than normal water temperatures in the equatorial Pacific Ocean. This can lead to increased rainfall and storms in some areas and drought in others. The impacts of La Nina are felt worldwide, and this year is no exception. According to the latest forecast from the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, La Nina is expected to continue for the next few months. This means that the impacts on global agriculture are likely to continue as well. In tropical regions, La Nina can lead to increased rainfall and flooding. This can damage crops and cause food shortages. In other cases, such as Australia and the western United States, La Nina can bring drought conditions. This can also impact agriculture, leading to lower crop yields. The impacts of La Nina are not limited to agriculture. The weather pattern can also affect transportation, energy production, and even human health. So while we wait for La Nina to end, we must be prepared for its potential impacts on our lives. Meanwhile, farmers and agricultural workers are preparing for the impact of La Nina. It's that time of year again when farmers and agricultural workers have to start preparing for the possible impact of La Nina. This phenomenon, caused by cooler than average water temperatures in the Pacific Ocean, can lead to below average rainfall levels in some areas. This can devastate crops and livestock, leading to lower yields and increased prices for consumers. While there is still some uncertainty about how strong this year's La Nina will be, it is nevertheless important to be prepared. Farmers are already planning to water their crops more frequently and plant drought-resistant varieties. They are also working closely with meteorologists to track the latest forecast models. Moreover, the government is also taking steps to mitigate the impact of La Nina. The Ministry of Agriculture has released a contingency plan that includes measures such as providing subsidies for farmers and increasing imports of food supplies. With all of these preparations in place, let's hope that this this year's La Nina will be milder than predicted and that it won't cause too much disruption to our food supply. Furthermore, some crops are likely to be imported more than others. As we head into the end of 2022, La Nina is expected to impact global agriculture for the third year. This weather phenomenon often results in below average temperatures and can wreak havoc on crops. Some crops are more vulnerable to La Nina than others, so farmers will need to be extra careful in 2022. Rice is one of the most La Nina sensitive crops. This state staple crop is grown in many tropical and subtropical countries, typically the regions most impacted by La Nina. La Nina was responsible for a significant decline in rice production in 2016. Farmers will need to be extra vigilant in 2022 to ensure their rice crop is not impacted. Other crops vulnerable to La Nina include corn, soybeans, and cotton. These crops are typically grown in La Nina-prone areas like the southern United States, so farmers must be on the lookout for any negative impacts. La Nina can cause these crops to suffer from reduced yields, so farmers must take steps to protect their crops. While La Nina can hurt agriculture, it is not all bad news. La Nina can benefit some crops, such as wheat. This crop is typically grown in areas that are cooler than average during La Nina years to benefit from the cooler temperatures. La Nina can cause reduced yields and other problems for some crops, but can also benefit others. Farmers will need to be aware of the potential impacts of La Nina on their crops and take steps to protect them. And lastly, there are ways to make 
mitigate the effects of La Nina. Each year, La Nina causes droughts in Australia, Indonesia, and the Philippines. These droughts can significantly impact global agriculture as they often lead to crop failures and livestock losses. La Nina is also associated with below average rainfall in South America, which can also impact agriculture in that region. There are ways to mitigate the effects of La Nina, however. For example, farmers can implement irrigation systems to help offset the effects of drought. They can also plant drought resistant crops and use other strategies to conserve water. There are ways to lessen its impact on global agriculture. Proper planning and preparation can minimize the effects of La Nina. Despite the disruptions that La Nina can cause to global agriculture, there are ways to mitigate its effects. Farmers can implement irrigation systems, plant drought resistant crops, and use other strategies to conserve water. Proper planning and preparation can minimize its impact on global agriculture. Next, in other related news, Australia prepares for more rain after La Nina confirmed. The Australian government's weather agency is anticipating exceptionally heavy rains in the next few months as a result of an ocean event. The weather affecting event known as La Nina is back for the third consecutive year, according to the Bureau of Meteorology. La Nina, a weather pattern caused by Pacific Ocean currents, is known in Australia to produce humid summers with high winds. La Nina is characterized by cooler than normal sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific Ocean and warmer than normal waters in the western tropical Pacific. This situation increases moisture in the air, which then brings rain to central and eastern Australia. The chance of increased rainfall for many parts of eastern Australia is 80%. The Bureau said in a statement, the warning affects mainly the country's east coast, which are still rebuilding after floods caused by La Nina conditions that only recently subsided in early 2022. Australia suffered through some of its worst fires in years during late 2019 and early 2020. This was followed by two La Nina events which caused extreme flooding, damaging or destroying thousands of homes. Finally, the La Nina, the wild card in Ofgem's concern about UK gas supplies. According to regulator Ofgem, Great Britain might have to start rationing gas this winter because of the potential for a harsh winter combined with supply disruptions from the Ukraine war. A letter that details such emergency measures was sent last week by Ofgem and seen by The Times. If implemented, these would help preserve any remaining stocks in case of an exceptionally cold snap. That might mean interruptible customers being asked to stop using gas for a specific temporary period. If the weather is colder than usual this winter, Europe may face intense pressure on its energy supplies, according to a warning from the International Energy Agency. The agency's concerns come as gas prices have already surged this year due to worries about European dependence on Russian energy supplies. Before the Nord Stream pipeline was shut down by Russia, Europe used to get around 40% of its supplies from Russia. The IEA stated that the EU has to cut energy usage by 13% to make up for lost production. But that estimate is prone to change if the forthcoming European winter is harsher than usual. The La Nina pattern accumulating in the southern hemisphere has weather watchers on edge. For the first time in a century, forecasters are predicting that La Nina will form for a third year, which could bring hefty rainfall to Australia and other parts of Asia, as well as hurricanes in the Atlantic. La Nina is a large-scale cooling of ocean surface temperature that can affect water patterns around the world. In addition to affecting the weather in the southern hemisphere, La Nina can also lead to increased rainfall and cooler temperatures in northern areas such as Europe. It is difficult to predict what impact it will have on the United Kingdom, but if the jet stream surrounding Great Britain is pushed northwards, it will typically result in more storms and rain. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below telling us what you think about this video. We'll see you at the next one. We appreciate you watching and hope to see you then.